life. I got the butter in my coffee. Yep. Hello, Ready, Hello, and Green, Tiny Studios, Tools, everybody who's here. As you guys come in, give me some hearts, do me a huge favor. I'll explain what I'm doing in a second. Hello, red, yellow, and green. Sounds like traffic lights. Yes, butter in my coffee. Bertrand Henry, good to see you. Can you guys hear me okay? Um, I'm making coffee right now as we speak. You can tell. And I'm going to explain something in a second. I want to show you what I'm doing first. And then I'm going to explain something in a second. What I've learned. While wow, this prop. Yes, this is bulletproof. What's going on, Raf? And then I'm going to explain what I'm doing and why this means something. You've heard of cheese in a coffee. That's disgusting. So, uh, first I'm going to explain what I'm doing. Then I'm going to tell you. First I'm going to explain who I am. Yes, pour over works best with this uh, Tiny Studio Tools. What oil am I using? I'm using uh, Dave Asprey's Bulletproof um, XCT oil. Um, cheese in a coffee sounds disgusting. It sounds like they've gone too far. But uh, let's... Let me... Yep, unsalted. Carry, carry, uh, carry gold. Exactly, it does. Hey, what's going on, Kevin Madison? Check out my man, Kevin Madison. He's right. Any MCT oil would work. I just took, I just got the bulletproof one because it came together. Um, that's right. Hey, what's going, Jets fan? Good to see you. Cheddar cheese and coffee. This sounds horrible. Uh, I am well. Good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. Yes, this is definitely bulletproof coffee. Um, this is what I'm actually making. It is the best. Let me tell you guys who I am before we get started. But before we get started, do me a huge favor. Um, if you guys are on the East Coast, maybe some of you guys got snowed in and you've been going through some cabin fever, um, as a lot of us have. What are the benefits of Z Celeste? There's a lot of things. You get a you get a lot of energy from the X, from the XCT oil or MZT in this court in this case, but I'm using XCT oil. Get energy from the oil. You should drink it every morning. Uh, substantial amount of energy from the coffee. Um, it, it's void. This particular coffee is void of uh, um, of mitotoxins. Which are some, could be some mold in your coffee sometimes. Look, do I know if it's 100%? I don't know. It works for me. It works like crazy, so I love it. Um, need some of that right now? Yes, you know what? It's great. It's substantial energy and without the crash. So it's not like um, like regular caffeine and, and coffee that you get. That gets, you know, you, you get hot, you get up, and then you crash. Digestion is great. It goes through well. Um, I like coffee um, as, as well as water as a natural... Um, Helps you move your bowels out and everything else. Let me switch this for a minute. Strong, not too strong for the most part. Not too strong. Hola, good to see you guys. Um, so let me introduce myself and I'm going to go back to the coffee in a second. Uh, do me a huge favor and invite your friends and followers to the this, to this scope. There is an actual life and business lesson to this. Uh, as I put butter in my coffee, I'm going to explain to you what it means and what it matters to, to your life if you're trying to do something new and why it matters. Good to see you. Be inside out TV. Uh, yellow, red, green. Do me a favor, invite your friends and your followers, get your friends in here because, again, the whole point is to share value and to, uh, to express value to what you're doing. And one way to, to show value to people in your community is to share them on stuff. Um, I do have a copy. Um, if anyone has a chance. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I actually met uh, Vlad. I actually met Dave Asprey. That's how I got onto this. Uh, he was in town here in D.C., heard him speak at a small, a small group of people. And I uh, got a copy of the book, signed, and took a picture with him. And then that's when I started doing Bulletproof. And uh, it's been great. I've been doing it for about a year, actually. Uh, it's about a year last week. So um, phenomenal, phenomenal. People make fun of me, but it's, it's a phenomenal experience. So let me tell you who I am before we get started. My name is Abong Eka. I'm a certified public accountant in the Washington, D.C. area. And I'm also the author of the best-selling business book, Start Me Up, The No Business Plan, Business Plan. I'm also the founder of Economics. We focus on your mission, your mindset, and your money. A lot of the things I talk about in Periscope are about business. Yes. Um, taste is phenomenal. When, when, I, when, I finish, when I finish it, I'll show you what it looks like. It's going to be all nice and, and whipped. It's going to look phenomenal. I'm going to look for a, maybe a see-through glass. Maybe I can. I don't have one. Yeah. But anyways, it's, it's, it actually is phenomenal, phenomenal taste. And um, the other thing is... Word life, is this an advance? This is a, yes, Wolfpack. What's going on, Wolfcap? Do with coconut. Um, I, I, you could do with coconut. This is advanced economics. Um, 
this is part of what I do, but part of the thing is this. And so you guys know I talk about mission, mindset, and money. I talk about motivation. I talk about business. I talk about how to get media attention. I talk about a whole multitude of different things, but it's all within the same sphere of living a better life and living a legacy. So the long, the long and short of it, when you're dealing with something like this, and initially when you try to do, say, you know, bulletproof coffee, uh, put oil and butter in your coffee, people think it's crazy, but I live, yes, a lot of M's. I love the M's. Mission, my, I love alliteration so that it's easier to remember that way. So the goal is simple. The goal is when you have, when something new, when you're presented with something new, especially if you don't think it's going to kill you, sometimes it's in your best interest. Can't, can't stay, saving battery. Okay, cool. No problem, Wolfpack. Good to see you in here. I haven't seen you in a long time, so it's good to see you. Uh, what kind of coffee? Heard of the butter coffee, but never, never been brave enough. And this is what I'm going to go into, um, Iris, Arco, Gris. Uh, the, the, it's plain and simple. When you're dealing, exactly, when you're dealing with something new, what's imperative in life is that you try something new if you think it may lead to, to a better result. So don't try not to allow cynicism and, and, and criticism to permeate your life. Um, I'll shoot in Nikon. All right, Vlad, take care, man. So too many people, you'll tell them butter in the coffee and they automatically start assuming that it's craziness. Um, granted, like I did with cheese in a coffee, I just didn't, didn't sound appetizing. But, and I don't do cheese anyways that much, so that's partially why. But when it comes to, when it comes to the coffee, for example, here, let me, let me switch this camera for you and I'll show it to you again. Lotions and potions says low. So this is basically it. I've gone through much of it. Well, this is Bulletproof Coffee. I'm trying to get it in focus, but it won't. There it is. Power, body, and mind. It's, it's, it's a high-performance coffee. Uh, basically, you just do it every day. Free yourself from food cravings. It's phenomenal if you're, if you're dieting as well. Um, the, the way they do, their, the way they do their, their, their coffee and their process is uh, the way they grow it. It's grown at high altitudes in single estates, harvested, carefully processed, and shipped to eliminate inflammation, uh, causing performance, robbing mold toxins, commonly found in coffee and foods or in the, or originating in the, pro, in, the pro, bleh, in the tropics, where you can get it online. Is it okay for nursing mothers? I can't tell you that, and I, I refuse to say yes or no because if something happens, I'm not going to be the one. Yes, you have to order it from. Uh, you have to order it online from a uh, uh, Bulletproof Coffee. You cannot. So let's go back here and show you what it looks like here. There we go. Yeah, you got to order it. You can't. Um, uh, sorry, there it is. Yeah, you can't just get it. You can't just go get it at Whole Foods. Although that would be nice. All right, let me finish. Let me finish up the coffee and show you what it looks like after. But I want to tell you what, what the whole point of why I'm, why I'm sharing this with you as well. The goal is simple, guys. The goal is simple. When you want to, when you're looking to make a change in your life and you want something else in your life, it's imperative that that you open your mind to new things. I.e., I do cryotherapy sometimes. I haven't done it in a while, but I do cryotherapy. Um, I work out, and I, well, I haven't worked out in a while either. When I eat clean, I eat things, I eat, you know, maybe I'll do raw foods. Um, I put butter in my coffee. What, hey, what's going on, Tara Tate? The great, good to see you. Now, why is that? Well, the main reason is, what's imperative is this, is that you try new things, and if it doesn't work for you, you just do something else. And I think too many people are stuck on what they think they should be doing, and they're looking for a magic pill and a one-off thing. So, yes, you know, the title is put, you know, butter in your coffee, WTF, but it, exactly. The goal is trying new things. And again, you have to use your mind and your experience in life to determine whether or not it can kill you or hurt you or can, or can help you. Uh, taking a break so I can catch your score. Hey, thanks so much, Vlad. I really appreciate you staying here and, uh, and, and hanging out. I know you're busy. You're out taking snaps with the Nikon, so I appreciate that. And so... I heard it's BS, but to each his own. Exactly. See, that's the thing, Alfie, Alfie's back. The, my thing is this. I, I can try something, and then if I say it doesn't work, then I can, then I can say with, with certainty, in my experience, it's BS. I don't really have to... There's certain things you don't have to listen to, and there's certain things you should listen to. So, for example, yeah, PM me later. So, there's certain things you have to listen to, some things you don't have to listen to. So, if someone says, you know, Iraq is a good time, is a good place to vacation, I don't have to go there to know that I shouldn't be going to Iraq. Or Afghanistan or anything like that, right? But in the same token, when it comes to some, trying something new like this, it doesn't require a lot of investment. And if there's benefits that may work, that may help, 
I make again. I make no money making this and talking about this. I'm not doing this, so I'm trying to sell. I'm not trying to sell you guys bulletproof. I'm just my my thing is is trying to show you guys that it's imperative. Yeah, use the Irish butter though. Yep, I already got you. Kerry Gold, hold on. Grass fed, unsalted. I use Kerry Gold butter. Like I told you guys, I've been doing this for over a year, and um, and. Uh, Dave Asprey is a, is a wonderful guy in person. Um, because of him, I changed my regimen with vitamins. I started uh, started increasing my vitamin D because there's a lot of deficiencies in vitamin D. My life changed. I started sleeping better, and then I started, then, I, then I found Kerry Gold, which is actually an amazing it's amazing butter, anyways. So it's totally great. But yeah, do you guys have any questions as I'm, as I'm going through this? Um, the bigger thing is this: I wanted to share with you guys. The, impor the importance of trying new things. And that's kind of what this whole scope's about. It's not necessarily about the coffee. The coffee's just actually a little, a little snippet of it. But for those who are watching, what you do after this is you put the coffee into a blender. Okay. You're jealous of all the snow. Hey, Jess fan, you can come have it, man. Get your, get, go get a pickup truck. Come down here and pack as much snow as you can and take it back with you. You can take it, you can take it all the way south with you. They'd love to have it. By the time you got there, you'd, it would melt, but still... All right, watch it curiously. I'm anxious to learn. Hey, that's awesome, Iris. And like I said, you can try it. And then here's uh, this the butter. Put about a table, about a tablespoon. You can do a little bit less than that, but it's all crazy. There we go. I put butter in my coffee. And then my XCT oil. It's about a tablespoon as well. That's enough. I'm only doing about a little over a cup, so. It looks awesome. Keith, oh Keith does this too? That's awesome. Hey, what's, what's going on? I think, I think Pink's a uh, Brill, P, I can't say all that. Thinks a Bink's a pre, a B, a Brill. What you do, April, that's even better. Uh, gives a recipe, how much coffee to butter, coconut. I don't put any coconut sugar. Um, I put the XZT oil, right, which is right here. Um, I put the butter, which is right here. Right there. I use a pour over. You can use a pour over or a French press. What you don't want to do is you don't want to, um, hold on, it's going to be a little loud. I missed your question about the why. Use coconut oil in your coffee. Even better. Oh. The benefit. And this is what it looks like after. God, that smells so good. It smells phenomenal. Um, the benefit, uh, sustained energy, uh, no caffeine crash, and you're getting actually the right fats and the right oils in your body. Just the same as using heavy cream. No, you're right. You're actually right, Sandy. Hey, Sandy, yes, I am cheap. You guys check out Sandy, yes, I am cheap. Um, her scopes are awesome by killing debt. Look how foamy and frothy that is. What coffee am I using? I'm actually using Bulletproof coffee. Oh, can you gain weight from it? I think you can gain weight from almost anything. As long as you um, are eating clean and stuff. It's, but you need, we all need the right kind of fats. Right? Stevie, I don't use any sweeteners. I don't, I try to, I avoid using sugar. Um, I, I, for some, I'm still into milk, but the only way I'm into milk is, what's going on guys? I'm still into milk, but the only way, only time I eat milk is when I have cereal, which I shouldn't eat. But I'm, I still, I, I've had a, I've had a pain body about cereal growing up as a kid, so I do a lot of cereal. But with that being said, um, I don't use. You're twenty, twenty, you're, you're twenty six hundred pounds vegan. That's awesome. I think, like I said, you got to try and you got to figure out. Like you have to get fats in you, so it, it all depends on the fats. That tea, though, what's going on? What's going on, Terrence? Credit Karma. It was free. Just like uh, my ability to get smart chick. Hey, what's going on, Cynthia Basin, the amazing Basin? Got butter in my coffee. You use them? Yeah, I love I love Credit Karma. They're awesome. But um, yeah, it's an amazing coffee. Uh, just covered. I'm allergic to break out with sugar, so I don't do sugar. Yeah, I can't do sugar. Butter is evil. Not a, isn't yeah. Butter isn't evil. I agree. Coffee, yes. Bulletproof will help you lose body fat. It helps you keep essential fats and sugars for help. Yeah, I agree with that too, Vlad. Um, the key is simple. The key is this. When it comes to 
are the fats. A lot of people don't get the right fats in them. And they think all fats are bad, but you need fats, you need to burn a certain amount of fats in your body as well as certain sugars, as well as certain proteins that you can store. And so eating, getting the right combination is what's important. This has a lot of fats, but it has a lot of the good fat that you need. The fat that you get in other, in other areas as well. So like I said, consult your, I didn't say this before, but consult your uh, nutritionist or your dietitian and figure that out. But in the same token, not everybody knows or agrees with certain things. Um, try coconut oil sometimes. Yes, April, I use, I've used coconut oil before. Um, not in my coffee, but coconut oil is the same thing. This, the thing with XCT oil, it has six times more power than coconut oil for instant energy. And, uh, which is the reason why I use XCT. And so you can also use MZT as well. So you can see right here as it starts to focus in. So it has coconut. There is coconut in here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but... It's not focusing. They do. They sell. Okay, cool, cool. Does it get thicker as you put uh, the other ingredients? No, um, it doesn't get thicker at all. XET, where it's derived from, uh, it's derived. From, it's, I think it's derived from coconuts. Let's see what it says in here. I can't really. I can't really tell. I think it has its proprietary oils. Um, yeah, for the most part, it's a proprietary oil. So I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. But the whole goal of this whole scope was just to remind you guys that. You know, not all things are there to harm you. And and if you have, yeah, it's a secret blend, uh, be inside and out. And if 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 there's something that you're, you you want to make a change, let's just switch this back up so you can see me. If there's something that you want to do to make a change in your life, right, it's imperative that you uh, consider trying it. And if it doesn't work, then stop doing it and do something else. That's basically it. Good fast, good fast for, for a fat head. Awesome. Side note, coconut oil is great for skin. Yes, I agree with that too, April. That's good. Let's try it. Hey, um, Iris, you can also do is uh, go, um, we do need more fat heads. Go on, uh, go online and see if there's anybody in your area who sells Bulletproof. You don't have to make it yourself. Maybe you can find places that brew it and sell it by the cup. So what you can do is you can actually taste it and see what it tastes like before you invest because you have to, the best way, the optimum way to make uh, Bulletproof coffee and coffees like this is either the pour over Right, which is and that's what I did before I bought it. So it's a pour over. You can use a pour over here, like the the pour over coffee, or you can use um pot coffee pot, or you can use um the French, uh, the French press. So I use it for diaper cream or coconut oil nut. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, yeah, exactly. That's great, Vlad. That's, that's a great point. Yeah. So World Market does sampling. So go check out World Market, and then just see see what it tastes like. See if you like it. If you don't like it, then. Because the Bulletproof coffee is like 30 bucks, the coffee is like 20, 30 bucks, something like that. The oil is another 15, 20 bucks. Um, you got to get the, the carafe, which is another, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks, or the French press, which is 20. Um, you need a blender, because uh, you need a blender to blend everything together. And then, then you go on through there. The only thing is it takes a little bit of time to make, your, to make it, but other than that, that's about it. As long as it lasts, if you drink it daily. Um, I've known people who, it's, when I drink it in the morning, it sustains my energy. I don't feel as hungry throughout the day. Um, I'm able to maintain my diet and not feel sudden urges. I don't have the, the carb cravings that a lot of people have. If I, take it, if I drink it in the morning before I go to work, and then later on in the afternoon, then I'll probably have my first meal at about 2. And so what, what also you can also do is you can do something called intermittent fast, which is you don't eat after 8 p.m. the night before, and you have your first meal anywhere from 6 to 8 p.m., you have your first meal at 12 by 12 or midnight. So it's about 18 hours, anything from 16 to 18 hours of fasting. So it gives your, your body a, a chance to system to, to digest and cleanse and clean out. You know, like a moderate fast. There's no crash. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. There's, no, there's literally no crash. And that's, a, that's the thing I like about it. Because I drink coffee. I, like, I actually enjoy drinking coffee. I don't drink coffee for caffeine. I enjoy the taste of coffee. So um, what's really important is that you, get, that you, um, you drink it for wherever you drink it. If you're drinking it for energy... It sustains just longer sustainable energy, uh, what I've noticed. Kino body, I'll check that out. I'll check that out, Vlad. I'm going to check that out. That's kind of cool. I'll definitely check that out. Um, hey, guys, I just want to show you that real quickly and then use, uh, I was actually going to make Bulletproof Coffee. I decided, let me just do a scope. But I want to illustrate. You have to, you have to, you have a Credit Karma shirt on. You work for them? No, I don't. Hey, Glam Tam Tam. Glam Tam Alam. Um, no, you know what happened was I spoke at a conference and uh, there was a booth there, Credit Karma is a financial conference, a uh, personal finance uh, blogging conference. And then they also literally gave a, a crap ton of these t-shirts. And these actually are really nice t-shirts, like they're really nice t-shirts. 
Oh, you do? You have a credit, uh, credit queue. Yeah, it's really nice t-shirts. So that's why I, I got the t-shirt I'm wearing it because it's actually really soft. It's actually high quality t-shirts. Most conference t-shirts are garbage. Um, you wouldn't even use them to wash your car. Uh, you have a question? Yeah, shoot it. Cop two of them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sandy was there. Um, ask, yeah, ask the question. Ask the question, uh, um, Glam Tam. Tam. Um, hey, Terrence. Yeah, that's right. So they, they gave a bunch of t-shirts. I met a bunch of the people there. Hopefully, we might do some things together, do some, do some, uh, some other partnerships together. But for the most part, it was, okay, cool. I got, uh, got the t-shirt. T-shirt was off the charts. And um, it's soft. It's phenomenal. So from there, that's why I have it. And Lo has a bunch too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Sandy. Yeah, they're nice people too. Sandy was there as well. Um, you were convincing, so try new energy. Yeah, it's cool. Let's see what it works. And go, go. Yeah, you can go to World Market Iris and try it. If it works for you, if it doesn't work, you don't. Nothing changes. There's no harm, no foul. You just say, you know what, it didn't work, and then you can keep it moving. Um, yeah, exactly, Terrence. This is not this. Oh, cool. This is not what you use for um. What you? Yeah, you don't use it for washing cars. Yeah, this is a nice. This is a nice little mug. It's a floral mug. This is not my mug. It's Chloe from Lori Gates. Looks nice. It's my feminine side. Thank you, Terrence, for inviting people. Um. And so yeah, why does your score go lower if your non-active accounts close, and you're on act uh, the. Because sometimes if the non-active accounts close, sometimes you can lower your credit. That's a good question. Um, I, don't, I normally don't do personal finance, but I, I do. I know a lot of this stuff. Um, I used to do personal finance years ago, and I, I kind of switched. Um, I think maybe Sandy could probably also add to this too. But generally speaking, when you when you close uh, uh, accounts that have credit, even if you don't, even if you don't um, use it, yes, the average age average, average age of your cards drop. But also too, if it's if it's um, if it's an open account too. Um, when you close it, you may also affect your utilization of your existing credit. Um, amount of available credit used, yeah, exactly, exactly what, what Sandy just said. The amount of available credit to use uh, to use amounts cross. So the utilization rate will drop. So say you have like um, use, yeah, utilization increases, but the, the the ratio will drop. So say for example, you have two cards, ten grand each, and you get rid of one of the cards, and you only have five grand. Now instead of it being five grand off um, off of twenty. Right for forty uh, for twenty percent, it's now fifty percent because you got rid of one of the cards, and you only have five thousand out of ten uh, out of ten thousand of available credit. So that's that's a, the perfect example as to why your credit scores can credit score can drop. But if you're not, you know, again, I'm not going to hype up credit karma because they're not paying me to say this. But um, it, you, you, I know Terrence said he uses it. It's it's actually um, it's, it's actually it's a pretty good service. I like the commercials. Uh, go check it out. Closes, closes on it on. I don't know what that means. Nothing wrong with holding a card and using it once in a while. Exactly. But you didn't close it. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. It's better, you know. And I also like Experian. It does some stuff with Experian as well. Um, <laughs> it's ninety seven. It's shit. Um, you don't physically have the card. Yeah, I mean, if you just if you still have, yeah. But hey, true no lies. Good to see you, man. I put butter in my coffee. You guys, you missed it earlier. Um, probably from college. I had butter in my coffee. I keep singing truffle butter, but I don't know why. Um, graduated ninety two. Dang. That's a very that's a good idea. Uh, be inside out. You want to spend something on it every once in a while. Keep it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I agree with yeah with Sandy as well. You don't have it. You don't have it. Okay. So did they close the account on you? So they close the account on you, then that's, that's something you can do. I agree with you, Vlad. You want it's so good you'll want a second cup. It's, it's awesome. That's college life. Yeah, exactly. Colleges they really scammed you in college. Um, that's a good point. Yes. Uh, so if if it's if they close the account on you, then there's nothing you can do about it. If you if you had available credit, because that happened to a lot of people. That also happened to me. I had a huge credit line for one of my businesses years ago. Uh, in Bank of America, I love Bank of America because I work with them. But um, but they, they 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 closed my credit line, and I had a huge remainder. I had a huge open. I had existing balance, but I had some opening. I had a huge uh, open on it, and it changed my utilization on me personally, and it did affect my score as a result. Um, so just call them. Uh, I opened a bunch of cards and wanted to streamline. I really want to try it. I've heard of this before. Yes. 
It's actually negative on your report. Exactly. I uh, hey man, it's a free shirt, uh, Yulon. Um, close is only yeah yeah. It's not really as helpful as, as Sandy as I mentioned as Sandy mentioned as well. Uh, yeah, Yulon, it's a, it's a great shirt, man. It, it's it's soft. It's an amazing shirt. I'm only talking about the shirt. I use the service, but again, I'm not trying to endorse them. This is not. I'm not trying to. I don't get paid for this. I'm not trying to. I agree with you, Glam Tam. The whole thing is bullshit. Yeah, this is turned into a credit scope. That's right. Uh, yeah, you'll find it, that's the see that Glam Tam. That's the that's the problem with uh, with credit and personal finance as a whole. Um, the, the problem is, uh, you know, they don't think they, they. A lot of people aren't really taught this growing up, and and a lot of times when you are, ain't no problem being inside and out. Good to see you in here. When you are when you are in college, you know, I opened a card. I had a Discover card in college, and they and they they, they gave me a free pizza. And some T-shirts, and I opened a card. It was ridiculous. The, the, the interest rate was out of was out of control, but it didn't matter. You know what I mean? I didn't know any better. No one taught me in school what that was about. And you're right; they they, they prey on kids, and that's kind of the problem that I've always had with with uh, credit card companies. Now, the problem is if you don't establish credit at some point, it makes it harder for you to acquire things that require credit, i.e., getting a car, getting a home, maybe even getting an apartment. Right? Some most apartment buildings they pull your credit report. Um, yeah, I got Glam Tam. Look, I was starving. You don't understand what I had. You, you, some of y'all heard my story. I had to hustle in school. I had to hustle uh, to go to school. I got a ton of money to go, but I also was I was also responsible for bringing up some, getting some of myself. And coming here as an immigrant, there's no money for immigrants in the U.S. going to school. You got money or you don't. So you had to. I was hustling. There were times I, I there were times I didn't have I didn't have food to eat. You don't understand. So when somebody's offering me free pizza. I'm thinking it's a credit card. I don't need to buy anything, it does, but it doesn't matter. I got a credit card. So I opened it, and then I used the credit card. Actually, the best thing in the world was I used the credit card because my transmission on my car dropped. It was a, te- it was a Ford Taurus back in 1996. The car, the, the, the transmission dropped when I was in Indiana, driving to see a friend in Indiana, and I had to get my transmission replaced. And I used my credit card to fix it. Otherwise, I would have been screwed. So I went down from the previous month. Um, check you try and check uh, check your credit score with some of the some of the systems like you know like I said credit karma is good because it tells you why some why something may have changed or dropped so try and maybe uh, hook up with them or find out how you who you uh, whoever is giving you your score find out why yeah just go go take a look exactly what 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 yes what Sandy just said do something yes I'm cheap just go check that out your problem is low credit post uh, blog post image um. When you a uh, uh, glam tam, when you take a look at your your credit res- your credit score and your report, you can see why there might have been a change. They always give you a reason why it why it may have changed. So go take a look at that. Payment history is one of the five parts. Exactly, exactly. Um, which is why I caught which is why I caught this shirt. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Um, and blog post image. I have you have no cards. Credit's a bad thing. Is, is it is it a blog post image? Is it because you um, you have an established credit? Is that what people are saying? Or, um, or maybe that's why, or is there, did you have like a, a, an issue in the past? You can start turning it around. I'm not a credit repair specialist, so I'm looking from angle. I had it and paid off. Okay, I see, I see. Maybe you should get a card and don't use it. Buy, like, like, uh, like B Inside and Out said, get a card, buy something you can buy in cash, and when the bill comes, pay it. Do a dumb divorce, how can I fix my credit? My house is on my credit, which is a good thing. Yeah, so blog post image, that's a good question, Iris. I'll answer that in a second, but blog post image, that's a, that's a, that's a, maybe that's a great way to start. Buy something that you're going to pay for. No, you, no no worries. You know, I, I could just turn the scope off if I didn't want to. But, um, you know, if you had a question, I have no problem asking. So, yeah, use your card to something you're going to pay in cash. And then when the bill comes, because you have to wait for it to post. When your bill comes, it, they'll record it as, as a purchase, you know, as you're utilizing credit. And then you just pay off the bill. And set the money aside so you don't get so you don't get caught up in the psychology of of, of not spending the money. I didn't want to get back on that ride, but that's the problem. See, the problem is because you're in the game of get, of, of getting your credit established. That's that's one of the things you have to play. You got to buy something that requires you to use your credit, so that they have a reason to report that you're that you're using your credit on your credit report. Otherwise, you might as well be a person just came to this country with nothing. You know what I mean? Um, and that's how you got caught up. But that's how you have to play the game. Or um, you got to save a lot of cash and buy everything you have and everything you want in cash. Uh, I didn't want to bet your open cards. I understand. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's better than your ability to handle the debt. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what credit is. It's your ability to pay, ability to handle the debt, your ability to service the debt, your ability to pay timely, 
Um, there's, there's different things. Like here's another example. Uh, so people don't do this too. I, I, I had some tickets on my on my credit report from like years ago that I, that had been already settled. Like I got a ticket, I paid it. It was like from DC, and I just wanted to took a look at it like maybe about a little over a year ago. And I saw it was on there. Like this is crazy, and it was affecting my score. I just sent a letter, and you could do it through Credit Karma. Um, I, I sent a letter personally, called them, uh, TransUnion, and they said yep. And I sent them the, the proof of it, and it was gone. I'm sorry to hear that, Iris. Yeah, the divorce and stuff is, is, are tough, especially when you have joint. Um, I get that a lot, especially from a tax side. I'm a CPA, as I mentioned. So, um, yeah, exactly what Sammy said. You should fight. You should fight that. And so, a lot of times, I get that um, couples who get divorced, and I get one of the, one of the couples coming to me from a tax perspective, and they got to file innocent spouse and all those different things because you know they got to they got to watch out for that. How long? To, oh, for me, how long did it take for me to rectify? Uh, it took maybe six to eight weeks. Um, it may take even sooner, but six to eight weeks because they have to, uh, they have to, they get, I sent them the information. So what I, this is how I did it. So I went on my, I went on my credit report through credit karma, saw that those, these, these items were still there, right? High five innocent spouse. <laughs> I saw, yeah, that's a huge thing for a lot of spouses, especially a lot of women. I see that with a lot of women. They're signing, they have to sign the, the papers for the IRS so they can remove themselves from a fraudulent return or from their, their husband or and, you know, trying to do crazy stuff. But anyways, um, so I saw that there was something that didn't seem right. I went to find uh, the, the receipts and my bank statement of me spending, of paying the bills, paying the, the, the tickets or whatever it was. I packaged it, found the call, the number of the call, faxed it and sent it in. Maybe you can help me with my filings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do me a favor. Why don't you send me um, an email? I am picking up some clients for your, if you do 1099, I do have clients, uh, tax return clients for that. What's going on, Christian Kata? Christian Kata is the man. Um... He's a man with a master plan. Uh, my, my email address is info at abongeka.com. That's info at abongeka.com. I-N-F-O at E-B-O-N-G-E-K-A.com. Being 1099 is sticky. We could talk about that too. That's something I should probably, I should probably do a, a, a training on, like a live webinar on 1099s uh, because it's tax time. Good to catch you, man. It's good to, uh, I need to, we need to catch up. So a lot of people, you know, exactly. See, for Sandy and I, and maybe a few other people, it's it's you know, it's not that hard because we have experience with it. But for the most part, it can be. DMT Boston, check out Danielle. She just jumped in. My full name is Abong. That's E B as in boy O N G. Last name is Eka E K A. And then, uh, yes, it's perfect, Glam Tam. Glam Tim. I just want to like make up songs when I hear when I see your name. So you can email me at uh, info. Like, it's my name together, my first and my last name. So it's info at abongeka.com. Danielle, what did you miss? I'm drinking bulletproof coffee. There it is. There it is. There's butter in my coffee. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Sweet and Low. There it is. Uh, Glam Tim, so take a look at Sweet and Low there. Shoot me a quick email, and we can talk about uh, doing some doing some of your tax work. Thank you so much, Sandy. For a lot of people, it's usually not that complicated. Um, I got Terrence in the house, who Campania, who's, who's doing, who's killing it. Um, I see uh, Christian in the house, who's killing it. He's part of a big mastermind. He's killing it. Unconventional. Yeah, you know what, Danielle? You know I'm unconventional. Um, basically, the whole point of this scope, just a quick recap, is to remind people is to try new things. The benefit of that particular coffee, Chris Barnett. Good to see you, Chris. Is uh, is bulletproof coffee uh, by Dave Asprey and his, and his company. I met Dave, Dave Asprey about a year ago. He was here in D.C. speaking on the importance of, uh, of uh, his coffee, which actually has an avoidance of mold and toxins in the coffee because uh, usually coffee that's, that comes from the tropics um, has mold, is, is from what I understand. And uh, so what you can do when you put the oil and the butter in your coffee, it gives you the right kind of fats that you need uh, for your energy. Not only to spike your energy, but keep it sustained energy because a lot of people will spike when they drink regular coffee. They'll spike from caffeine and, and crash. This actually does not crash. For a lot of people who are on the scope who actually drink Bulletproof, they can see that. Excuse me, they can see that. Um, you also, I also add, um, instead of coconut oil, it's six times uh, stronger. Hate to taste the butter. You don't taste the butter that much. He, he, Christian is right. There's alertness and there's alert and awareness. Um, the bullet, uh, the, I, use, I use their oil, the XZT oil. Um, how much coffee, you know how much coffee, <laughs> you know what? Sometimes you can tell, sometimes you can't. And, you know, I don't know if it's true or not. I, I drink regular coffee. I drink Starbucks. And I also drink Bulletproof. I, I really enjoy the taste of coffee. I don't put cream in my coffee. Most of my, all my coffee is black. Except, except for when I drink Bulletproof. 
And then I put the butter and the oil and that, that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> go on, smuggle some coffee, you know. Star. Rude gal. All right. Love of my Jamaican. Um, you guys are from... Yeah, I hung out with a lot. And I use Kerrygold. Yep. Tastes like, exa exactly. It tastes like a latte if you use Kerrygold. I use, um, I use Kerrygold uh, butter. It's unsalted. Am I pulling an all-nighter? I got a lot of work to do. I didn't sleep last night. Uh, no, um, Glam Tam. It's info at abongeka.com. E-B-O-N-G-E-K-A dot com. I like my coffee like uh, I like my women in a big bottom, <laughs> big bottom cup. <laughs> hey, Glam, yeah, Glam, uh, Glam Tam here. Yeah, there it is. Info at abongeka.com. That was funny, Chris. Um, <laughs> big bottom cup. Thank you, Glam Tam. We will definitely touch base and you'll let me know. I can help you if, if I can and what you need, stuff like that. Um, you guys are phenomenal. I'm going to wrap this up. I've been on here longer than I wanted to be. I literally just going to make some coffee and talk about the importance, the lesson I learned making the coffee. And the, the goal was this. Experiment. When there's something you see that's something new and you think it may take you in a, in a, in a, in a, in a path that, that, that actually is better for you and leads you to where you really want to be, it's imperative that you experiment. Too many people have these limiting beliefs about what is for them and what's in front of them. And I meet too many people in life who struggle because they won't experiment for that one thing. And you, who knows, if you took that one step in that, in that direction, your mindset may shift. And as a result of that shift, you may have a multitude of steps that leads you where you really need to, really, where you really need to be. Um, yeah, DMT, no problem. Uh, Danielle, catch the replay. We'll definitely talk. So we'll talk this week. Uh, so that's the whole point of the scope. And so initially, I thought putting butter in a coffee was crazy until I until I actually tried it. And so I told I, I mentioned to Iris. I went to I went to a, a coffee shop here in the DC area. Uh, tried it. It tasted phenomenal. And then I started doing it myself. So that's kind of how I try to exper experiment. I do cryotherapy, which means I go into get free frozen by nitrogen for about three minutes. Um, yes, yes, elevate your vibration. So when you're open to new, to trying new things, there's a very good chance you may find something, a lane that works for you, that opens you up, relieves your stress, gets you in a place where you're excited to wake up and have an excited, excitable life. And you know what? That's kind of what it is. So when you, when you operate that way, you're not thinking about petty stuff and your life and your vibrations change. So that's kind of what the goal, what I want to share with you guys today. And I've been, a, I've been away for a while. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, and thank you guys for being here. Thanks for everything. Take care. Glam Tam, info at abongeka.com. If you guys are interested in learning more about tax stuff, just reach out to me. Um, we can just help you. I'll answer your questions. No big deal. Uh, that's because that's what that's my background. It was a, was a CPA, so my background is a CPA. So uh, in addition to um, helping people with coaching and pricing and stuff like that. So reach out to me. I'll talk to you guys soon. See Sandy, Campania, which is who's Terrence, who's awesome. Christian Cotta was on here. Um, a lot of amazing people. Bombadillo, good to see you, man. Always a pleasure to see you in here. Uh, Cynthia Bazin, the amazing Bazin. Uh, blog post graphics, which is uh, blog post images. Musi writes, Dewana Wisdom, Simone, uh, Elite Events, Tamara Marie, that's I think that's Glam Tam. Uh, KB Moore, Don Felton, Sharita, Lowe, thanks for all the hearts. Alfie, Kids Get Education. I see Carla in here as well. Carla Bissong from the Big Song Gallery in Houston, Texas. So um, thank you for the hearts. Sorry, there he is. Yes, so uh, just thank you for the hearts, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for the love. And, you know, I'll talk to you guys soon. If you're on the East Coast, dig yourself out and be safe. Don't, don't drive uh, erratically. I'm the bomb.com. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.